and welcome back to Verticon in Dallas. I'm here with Evan from Ace Aeronautics, who's one of the few people that's flown with me and still wants to fly with me again. <laughs> and we're going to have a chat around about the, uh, their unique approach to remanufacturing black corks for the broader industry. So, Evan, take us around the, take us around the beast. Absolutely. Uh, so thanks for coming by. My name is Evan Brown. I'm the Vice President for Certification for Ace Aeronautics and I'm uh, the company test pilot. So I was uh, with the company since 2018, taking this through the certification. So what we do is we take US Army divested Blackhawks and we modernize them. So the cockpits and everything else about the aircraft has been around since 1979. So our cockpit, uh, we introduced the Garmin G5000 integrated flight deck. We'll come around to the other side so we don't interfere with these folks. Um, we've developed uh, nose mount, so we can mount a sensor on here. Uh, up to 110 pound clear uh, West Cam, or in this case, Safran ball. This one's a little bit too large to actually operate, but uh, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, this one's just for demonstration purposes. But the the cockpit is a commercial off the shelf G5000, very similar to what you'd find in a Hawker business jet or a Cessna Citation. So it has uh, four high definition multifunction displays. The outboard ones are the primary flight displays. The inboard ones are multifunction displays. And uh, a couple of key things to uh, point out would be that it is uh, certified for RNAV, GPS navigation, to require navigation precision that's a localizer equivalent uh, with vertical guidance. Which I'm not sure the US Army has <clears throat> got, got yet, or they've only just got it if they have got it. No, no, they're working on it. They're working but, on know, it, yeah. But, but the nice thing about this is it just works. Yeah. You know, Garmin is always investing in modernizing their uh, their offerings and keeping them relevant. So the, the Blackhawk configuration, Garmin has been a fantastic partner for us, um, tailoring this so that it works for the Blackhawk. So the engine instruments, uh, the synoptic pages, all those things are Blackhawk specific, but importantly, the software and hardware, these are the same LRUs you'd find in a lot of other uh, aircraft around the world. And so, uh, when a small fleet in a foreign country it might only have five aircraft, when you buy this, you know that for the next 20 years you'll be protected from obsolescence because Garmin guarantees they'll continue to, uh, to support their product. Uh, we have a mission computer. Uh, this one is not equipped with it, but uh, the idea is you use Garmin interfaces to interact with a mission computer so you can present maps, weapons management system information, EOIR sensor on the nose, you can present that, helmet mounted queuing system, all that is working through a third-party mission computer, but you're interacting with it uh, through the same touchscreen that you're interacting with. So you've got with the Garmin interface, functions. and yeah. whose mission computer are you using? Uh, we are, uh, the, 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 the vendor for the hardware is North Atlantic Industries. Okay. They make a lot of space yeah. and aviation hardware, so it'll be robust DO254 uh, hardware. Uh, the software is being written by a company in Huntsville called Graphic oh, Design right. uh, Incorporated. Just down the road. Fantastic team there. Uh, anything you can imagine, they've probably already done. So they're the absolutely ideal partner to do this with us. Um, and really looking forward to kicking that out. We'll start flying with that here in a couple months and uh, our first customer will take delivery of that later this year. Fantastic. The wonderful thing about the Garmin architecture is that we can do all of that mission stuff outside of the G5000 software. So the G5000 software remains certified. Federa and federated away yeah, from so all of that. Yeah, so it feels very integrated, yeah. but it's outside the firewall. So the only thing that crosses back and forth between Garmin and the mission computer is the uh, information about flight plans, waypoints, and where you touch the screen yeah. and which bezel button you pushed. And so the mission computer can respond to that and send the video up to Garmin. But Garmin cannot be corrupted by that, importantly. Nope. And that it relieves, us, relieves us from having to go back and recertify just because we changed how a mission radio works. So great news there. And obviously from, from a company perspective, the big news um, this week has been the formalization of the arrangement with Sikorsky. Yeah, we're obviously very excited about it, about that uh, yeah, as being the first Sikorsky service sensor, I believe is the term mm -hmm. they settled on. So that shows a lot of faith in Sikorsky yeah. on us, uh, and, and, well, in us. And of course, you know, that, that means we're gonna have to, you know, develop and mature our processes, but it's gonna be good pain in that, you know, doing it the Sikorsky way certainly has worked for them for a very long time. It has. And we're excited about being able to, to, to do even more for the Blackhawk operators around the world. That's yeah. right, Evan, yeah. as always, great yeah. talking to you. Thank you so much oh, for your Oh, thanks time. so much for coming by. No worries, anytime. Yeah.